The 2017 NFL season officially gets underway Thursday night in Foxborough, Massachusetts, as the New England Patriots host the Kansas City Chiefs at 8 p.m. on NBC. Those that were looking for a sexier matchup, perhaps a Super Bowl rematch with the Falcons, to begin the season need to look a bit deeper into this matchup. The Patriots and Chiefs have much recent history, as Alex Smith and Andy Reid put together the perfect plan to destroy the Pats at Arrowhead, 41-14, in 2014. After the game, there was much talk about the dynasty being over, about Tom Brady being too old and Jimmy Garoppolo's name was invoked for the first time. Since that drubbing, the Pats are 42-8 under Brady. But the memory remains when it comes to that moment in Kansas City. Don't let anyone tell you differently. The line moved from minus 9 earlier in the week to minus 8 heading into game time. The over under sits at 47.5. I highly recommend the over in this game, as I think the Pats set an offensive tone from the first series and the Chiefs score enough late to get this to a 31 20 win for the Patriots. Expert prediction Brady on opening night? Sign me up. There is a lot of talk as to when we will see the decline of Tom Brady and while it could come at some point in this season, not on this stage. Forget the injury to his favorite target, and expect Gronk and the Pats D to pick up the slack and get the job done. Key stat, the Pats are 29-16-1 against the spread in non-division games over the last 10 years. Brady on opening night? Sign me up. There is a lot of talk as to when we will see the decline of Tom Brady, and while it could come at some point in this season, not on this stage. Forget the injury to his favorite target, and expect Gronk and the Pats D to pick up the slack and get the job done. Key stat, the Pats are 29-16-1 against the spread in non-division games over the last 10 years. Don't prop bets and predictions or recommendation, yes, we like the Pats to roll off 21-28 unanswered points. Don't will there be a defensive touchdown? Our recommendation. We always like Smith for a pick six. Touchdown 170 field goal or safety plus 150 are rec, go field goal, as one of the teams is likely to come up short in their first positive drive. Will the game end in a tie? Our rec, of course not. First half 125, second half plus overtime plus 105 are rec, we like second half here. The Pats will get it rolling before the half and score on three straight drives in the third and early fourth. Highest scoring quarter first quarter plus 450 second quarter plus 160 third quarter plus 450 fourth quarter plus 175 a rec, third quarter as stated above. A rec, over. The Pats offensive line is still learning how to play as a unit. A rec, no. Both special teams units too disciplined to let it happen. A rec, over. The Pats defense is blitz happy and will wear down the Chiefs O line. Our rec, no. Our rec, no, as stated above. Our rec, over. The Pats defense is bend don't break and that could lead to a lot of kicks. Our rec, over, as stated above. Our rec, over. If we're taking the over, we're looking for at least six touchdowns to make it an easy over. Interesting player props over half interception, plus 130 under half interception. Minus 150 a rec, a lot of Vegas is saying over. I'm inclined to say under, but with the receivers still getting in sync with Brady, I think he's going to be good for one tonight. A rec, over. I truly believe that Hogan will be the main beneficiary of Julian Adelman's absence. At least, I'm betting on it for my fantasy teams. They developed strong chemistry last season and with an offseason to work together, I believe Hogan is a jeet. Julian in training. Our rec, under. My heart says over, but I think this QB wideout combo is going to take time to mesh. Look for Cooks over 100 yards by week 4. Our rec, over. Why would he stop being Smith's security blanket now? Plus, the Pats defense will give the yards under the coverage to Kels, but won't let him get by them. Our rec, over. Dot could be a national TV coming out party for this young man. I saw some experts saying he may get this by the end of the first quarter. Let's not get carried away, but he will get there.